now you got that installed. Now you, you have this it? installed, yeah. You want to make sure that the joint is, is correctly positioned or centered. And that's why you put that tape And there. in this case, you can slide the joint into position. You want to slide it just to the edge of this tape marker. Okay. I see why you did that. If you had a kind of a constriction in the manhole here, you'd use the short side. Absolutely. Pull that out. This tube is a lot longer. It takes a lot longer distance to yank it out. Absolutely. Can you take that red tape off? Yep. Now we want to remove the restricting tape on this side. And this frees up the holdout so we, we can pull it out of the joint. Same process as before. Okay, this is supposed to be a one-man process, so I'm just going to watch Install here. the hook into the slot. Make sure that it's in position over the, over the red tape. Simply get it started. It's installing itself. Yeah, you can see in this case that... that it's time for a cup of coffee. Yeah. Okay, well, go ahead and finish installing it. Harry, you're looking pretty good down at this end. That's it? That's it. The joint is now shrunk on, shrinking onto the cable. So you're not using any of those rip cords, which can snap off and break. No rip cords. And when you can move it around a little bit while you're installing it. It's not like when you get started, it's stuck. Is that right? That's absolutely right, Frank. Okay, so it's got kind of a novel way of installing it, so I get it. But now we got to finish it, which means we have to take the shield and somehow attach that. How do you do that? You want to take a stainless steel spring clamp, take this, wrap it around two times. Whoops. These things can get out of hand. You got to watch what you're doing with these. Okay, so you wrap it around. Two times. You made the connection, now you bend the... Take, take the sock and fold it back. I see. And then complete the installation. Great. That's good. I see that you got that end taken care of, but now on this end we got some other things going on here. We've got some wires coming out that I guess you're going to tie into the bond in the manhole someplace, That's right? That's correct, yeah. We're bringing the ground outside of the joint in, in this case. What we want to do here is we want, we want to treat this exactly the same. We want to connect, connect the wires to the flat strap neutrals, but in this case we're also going to, going to want to put a sealant in here to seal these wires from the outside world. I got it. And you just kind of bent the flat strap neutrals and got them going the other way. I see. And it gives you an electrical connection from the flat straps on this side. It grounds the joint, connects it to that side. So far, so good. So far, so good. Not a lot of utilities use this flat strap. Some of the more urban utilities do. What happens if you got the more classic utility construction cable or I guess this would be the same installation for a copper tape shield or the other sort that, of typical industrial type cables. But if you got a jacket of concentric neutral cable, how do you deal with the, the, the sock and the mesh on that? That's a good question, Frank. If you have a jacket of concentric neutral cable, we have an alternate construction for the joint where we actually install uh, neutral type wires into the joint. Oh, so you bring the neutrals back over and then you tie these into the neutral? Same sort of system. That's correct, yeah. You want, you want to tie the neutrals back into the neutral wires I got it. of the cable. And that grounds the body of the joint. Right. Okay, I got it. I see that we've got the splice installed, Harry. We got it sealed up, but now you got to seal up the jacket and deal with all these neutral wires. How are you going to do that? Yeah. We want to bring these neutral wires outside of the joint. So what we want to do is we want to install a sealant strip Around, around the cable. This doesn't look like the normal mastics, Harry. This is something weird. Yeah. This is a, a silicon power gel sealant. And this, this is used in all of our cold applied applications to seal out moisture. Well, this is definitely different. And I've never seen this used in a power cable installation. So, and it has quite a bit of elasticity. It, it has quite like a it bit of elong elongation. On. You want to install this about an inch away from the edge of the jacket. And I assume that that's compatible with the cable jackets in the semi-con. This, this has been tested, tested with the cable jackets in the semi-con. Okay. It's completely chemically compatible. Now this is new and we've never seen this in a medium voltage installation. You're not using that in any medium voltage environment. No, this, this is just used for a jacket this seal? Is, this is only rated up to 600 volt. Oh, okay. So now you're flipping the flat straps. Yep. You want to be careful and fold these flat straps down even. Yeah. And if you had a copper tape shielded cable, you'd bring a solder block braid out the same way? That's correct. Okay, yeah. and you put it in the gel. Exactly. You basically okay. want, to, want to bring the gel underneath the flat straps, tie them down with a, with a piece yeah, of tape. Yeah, in there. 
And I guess the red tape comes in the kit, huh? Yes, it does. Okay, I see that we've got the gel underneath here. And then how are you going to recover, how are you going to cover the entire joint? Frank, we're going to use our new Power Gel Sealed Rejacketing Sleeve. This is something I haven't seen before, Harry. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? This looks kind of strange on the end, kind of like an accordion. What's yeah. going on there? This is a corrugated elastomeric sleeve that has an integrated lock mechanism on both sides and the power gel sealant. So this is the same power gel that we used on the end. You just kind of laid it in there. I understand that. I can see it, kinda, it stretches a little bit so it can go over, go over different size geometries, but what about the seal where it comes together? Yeah. The power gel sealant is actually installed on both ends and then it's run down inside of this seam. And inside of the, when this is closed, there's a slot that goes into that seam. I got it. That so seam and, and seals, uh, seals along entirely the around the part. And on the, on the ends as well. Right. Okay, how does so, this go on there? So this is very simple. You just basically want to center. Doesn't the seam. matter which way is which, right? Doesn't matter which way is which. You want to center the sleeve over the joint, making sure that the power gel overlaps the jacket on this side and overlaps the seal on this side. Yeah, I can see one advantage is you don't have to stick this on the cable before you start out. Very big advantage in, uh, in manhole applications, taking a sleeve that you can just wrap around the joint. Now we're gonna seal the jacket up, Harry? Yeah, we're gonna take this wrap around sleeve. I'm not gonna touch it because it's gonna be a one-man show. And simply slide the product together. So you're just squeezing that together with your hands until you hear it snap? Yep. I see, so that's it. That basically completes the installation, Frank. So now you got this rejacketed. You've got the gel seal on the ends. It's fat over the middle, but that accordion thing stretched out over the middle. And now I see a couple of notches here. So what, what goes on the notches? Yes, yeah, the purpose of the notches is just to locate these tie wraps. Can I try one? Sure. So you just stick the tie wraps so they're kind of in the notch, and then you cinch it down. Oh, I see. So it, tightens up around the gel on the end. Yep. The purpose of the tie wrap is just to put the gel under compression and make sure you have a good seal. Okay. And the tight little notch locates the tie wrap. That's pretty handy. So now we've installed this without any spiral hold out that snaps off right in the middle. You don't have to stick it on the splice before you start. You can put it on afterwards. You could probably put this over uh, a pre-molded type joint if you wanted to That's seal correct, up. Yep. And you've got the water seal there. It's redundant. You're all set and ready to energize this circuit and, and it's get on to the next one. It's wrap around and it's quick and easy.